everybody, it's Lindy Tate from Tater Buggin'. How's everybody doing today? If you're watching on replay, be sure to comment hashtag replay so I know you're here. And if you're new, please let me know and so we can welcome you to the page. Um, and hopefully you'll enjoy what we do here. I'm just gonna get us going, if I can, right before um, four o'clock, right at four o'clock, my internet burped or something, I don't know, and so I'm, I had to hurry up and try to get back on here. All right, yeah, see people getting here. Hey, Jody. there's Opa and Betty. Oh, thank you, Betty. Hey, Diane, Trish is here, thank you. <laughs> it's the crazy hair lady today. Oh my goodness, where am I? Yeah, there I am, okay. All right, sorry y'all, I can just see you better down here. Hey, Gail and Becky and Norma, who, who am I missing? There's Carol, who did I miss? Debbie and Phyllis and Judy's here. How's everybody doing today? It's been a busy day around here so far. Hey, Laura, an artist is here, hey. So, we're gonna try to pull some fall decor together from stuff that you probably have in your stash. I kind of dreamed this one up out of my head this morning. Um, let's see, there's a newbie here. Cynthia's here, all from the Turquoise Valentine. Yet Lee and I had so much fun together Sunday and y'all made it, y'all just made it so great. I'm so happy to have some new folks over here and um, I hope you'll enjoy what we do. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you, Judy, for the stars. Oh, Betty, have you? Oh, no. I'm sorry. Hey, Linda. Brandy's here. Rhonda. Hey, hey, Tiffany. There's Patty from Lee's page. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All of you that have come over and are new to my page from um, the Turquoise Valentine, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. These ladies are so sweet and so welcoming. Uh, I hope you'll enjoy what we do, though. I hope you'll enjoy us enough to want to follow us, too. And just to recap, uh, for those who are new, I go live on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays at 4. And my husband, Mr. Taterbuggin, usually cooks a special recipe for y'all. Um, he tries to do it on Friday at 6. So that's our usual schedule, barring any unforeseen circumstances. So I got out. I started digging in my stash today because I was going in one direction and I thought no I'm waiting till Thursday for that because I want to practice with that first so somebody had asked me if I would I see the hearts thank y'all for the hearts um, somebody asked me if I would try some crafts with embroidery hoops which I was excited about plus I had a dear sweet tater bug uh, who was cleaning out her mom's stash and she offered me a stack of embroidery hoops and I already had one size she had a different size serendipity right so I pulled out one of the ones that she gave me and I'll need to measure it so y'all know I know y'all like to know the measurements this is a looks like an about eight and a half inch embroidery hoop and I decided I, I would have Mr. Taterbuggin add chicken wire to the back of it for some texture. I was gonna put uh, fabric in it. I'm gonna show you some fabric I have. But then I decided, no, I want this one to have texture in it. But I don't like that, um, that it's too new. It was that bright silver and that just doesn't go with fall colors to me. If they do to you, I'm sure some of y'all could pull that together, but for me and where I was going with this, I thought, let's rest it. But I fake rested it really fast. I got out my favorite rust color, milk chocolate. You wouldn't think so, but it kind of looks like rust to me. And I just take my um, sponge brush and dab it on the front and the back to try to cover it as much as I could. So that's what we did there, judge size in these videos. Yeah, it is, Kim. That's why I try to, you know, give you some um, some sizes, you know, so you, you'll get an idea of the size of it. Uh, 
Oh, thank you, Rula. I appreciate that. This is the wash and, wash and wear today, and y'all know I couldn't do that before I got my launch products. And Norma made her udon noodles. I'm glad they were a hit. He made Kung Pao chicken last night. It was so good. <laughs> He's got to quit this. <laughs> oh, did you, Cindy? That was something else, wasn't it? We had the best time. We went for two hours and 20 minutes. We, I promise not to keep y'all that long today. Okay, so that's that step. Now, let me show you. I have a stack of stuff I got out here. Uh, and there it is. It got swallowed up. Now, this one, this little embroidery hoop is just over four inches. I think they called this a four-inch size, I believe. So, I imagine this is an eight-inch size. In my mind, what I thought I would do is offset this little one like this. We've got our texture here. And, uh, oh, thanks, Sarah. We really, we just genuinely have fun when we get together. We had been shopping together, but uh, we had not gotten a chance to go to one or the other's house to craft together or go live. And it just worked out last week. So, hey, Arlene. I'm so happy you're here, too. Hey, Deb. Um... A husband that cooks your one yes I am Linda I, he when he I cooked for 26 years and um, well longer than that actually but uh, when he retired last November he loves to cook I said have this I bequeath my kitchen to you <laughs> and he's been wonderful <laughs> so I'm gonna do like I do a lot of the times and I want to get y'all's input on some of these now what I'm thinking about I want to hit these wood um, natural wood embroidery hoops with just a little bit of the waverly antique wax to kind of make a richer um a richer fall color hey tammy oh i am so sorry for your loss i am so very sorry tammy oh goodness so i think we'll do that step first and then from then on out i'm going to kind of get your idea uh, your ideas on how we're going to build this up. But I think it's, I hope it'll turn out to be a fun craft that we can do. Um, a fun craft to do with just things that you may have in your stash. How did we get up that 157? Y'all are amazing. Cindy, he worked for a million years for Cadillac and, but he retired from Infinity. He had been at Infinity of Memphis for several years, uh, quite a few years uh, before he retired, but he's been in the car business his whole life since he was 18. And when I met him, he was a um, service manager in a car dealership. That's what he did for so many years. And, uh, but yeah, he was always in the service department. He's service advisor, warranty, uh, claims manager, things like that, you know. So yeah, he's a car man. Hi from Alabama. Hey, Francis, you're in one of my favorite states. That's where I was born. I love Alabama. Speaking of Alabama, are you, I know y'all are still praying for our sweet Sookie. I miss that friend of mine. Hey, Lee. There's Lee. Lee. I got, I've got a bunch of friends of yours over here. I'm so excited. And y'all, we're, we're like, we're not far from 9,000 now, and y'all know my goal was 10,000, and that's party time. We're gonna have to have a celebration when we hit that, so. Lee and I laughed and laughed. We laughed even after the live. We just had a great time. And uh, some of y'all's comments and um, your messages to me afterwards too, I was expecting probably some screenshots coming in from that crazy video. But we had a good time. And y'all see, there's the famous couple wait, right there behind me. There's our, wait, if you missed it, there's our candy corn, our famous couple there, and my pumpkin stack, which I love. I'm loving seeing y'all's pumpkins coming in. Hey, Tammy. We are going to try to pull together a fall decor piece from what Lindy had in her stash. Well, I did get, there were a couple of things, I'll, I'll confess. 
yesterday on my day off, I decided, you know what, I'm going to run up to Dollar Tree and see what they have, one of mine, just a, you know, not the big fancy Dollar Tree. And they actually were putting out um, some of the new fall stuff. So I got a couple of things there. I didn't, didn't get much. They weren't, they still have boxes of the fall stuff sitting out that they were about to put out. Y'all know I wanted to rip into those boxes, don't you? Um, so then I went, I had to go to Hobby Lobby for something else. And um, so I thought, well, I'll just look around there at their fall stuff. And it's all 40% off. So I did pick up a couple of things that I'm going to show you for embellishments. <laughs> yeah, I, I understand, Linda. We as crafters kind of have to get ahead of the game. For instance, the things I make uh, will go into my booth at Southern Vintage if I'm not going to use them in my own home decor. Um, so we're just kind of, we've got to be a little bit ahead of the game so that when y'all are ready to start your fall crafts, you'll know what kind of things to buy at the Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby or whatever. Um, so I like the color, um, this Waverly Antique Wax gives that I'm just I'm thinking fall and I am a I'm very much a, a summer person I don't want summer to end I am I'm not the fall lover but I do love fall decor so look how pretty that turned out uh, let me see here can you show how mr. T attached the wire please yes Betty I sure will oh thank you Lee thanks so much uh, Lee Lee I call Lee the the Oprah of the crafting community she's awesome okay so the chicken wire he took it into his shop because that's where our chicken wire is and he just stapled it to the back I'm sure you could use glue but you would have to you know clamp it and probably let it sit overnight just to be sure it's sturdy enough but this is just stapled on always be careful with those uh, pointy ends after you clip the the chicken wire it will I have been cut up what's the OG for oh for what I said <laughs> it was it was a fun fun live I got so tickled and then it just got worse and worse from there but it's okay y'all hung with us I think most of y'all laughed right along with us. A couple of you wet your britches. <laughs> Which, <laughs> you can put a drop of hot glue on ends of chicken wire. Okay, that's a great idea, Betty. I'll remember that. So it doesn't just eat up your skin. Um, you know, yeah, I got my stuff right there. I'm not going to be too careful with this. I'm gonna hit it with the heat gun because I don't this is not a complicated craft it's not gonna take a long time y'all if we get to 200 I'm just gonna croak Betty Opa y'all these are my sweet moderators Cindy if you're here um, y'all keep me on my toes I want to give away we've got a lot of new viewers and I want to gift uh, three people today with um, one of my classes, whichever one they want to do, it'll be their choice. So y'all keep me on my toes. Got your what? Oh, but what's a WW? What did I miss? Hey, Lori. <gasps> we hit 200. I want, we're, I want one of those confetti things to go when confetti goes everywhere. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm so excited. Wait till Mr. Taterbug in here. And let me tell he had to go make a delivery to another one of our locations, but um, hopefully he'll be back before, uh, before we're done here. Um, I'll tell you this, you hadn't seen much of him this week because he got up Sunday morning and his account had been hacked. And I know that because whoever got into his account tried to message me, private message me like they were him, but it had been deleted. And he can't get back into his account. He can't even make a new account. He's so upset and frustrated and he's missing y'all very much. So if anybody has any tips on how to get around that, he has tried messaging, you know, Facebook, we've Googled, we're at a loss, but the poor man wants back on Facebook. So if y'all know of something, please message me and let me know how we can get him back 
going again. Oh, I couldn't keep them that long. I'm back down to 186. I gotta try harder. They said oh, she's just she's just staining some embroidery hoops. I got to go. Hey, Kristen from Torso Art. I'm so happy you're here. I'm just gonna hit these. Hi, Barbara. Yeah, he's pretty upset about it. Hey, Teresa. Oh, did you? Oh, thank you. I know, Becky. That was just rude, wasn't it? Uh, it's knock on wood. I haven't had that trouble yet, but I'll tell you this. It shakes me to my core for this page. If I couldn't get to y'all, it would be awful. So, you'll be finding me different places, too, very soon. Just so, if I disappear, you'll know. Look for me other places. Oh, Kristen, you're so sweet. Thank you for saying that. Yeah, I have. Carol, I don't know what else to do. I really don't. We're, we're kind of at a loss for what to do. Hey, Christy. There's Tammy. Uh, we're getting back up there. We got back up over 200, y'all. I'm serious. I've had some goals. I like to set goals for myself. For no real reason. Just, you know, you want to... You wanna, grow and you want to, um, I don't know, it's a, a business goals, I guess, and um, to get 200 live viewers, I mean, viewers on my live was one of my goals, and the other goal is to reach 10,000 followers, so I always kind of just tell you that, <laughs> whatever. Hey, Kaylee and Carmella, yes, I'm all for, I don't care how long it takes, Sharon, I don't care. It's uh, quality over quantity, right? And I've got some amazing quality in y'all, I'll tell you. It, you know, it just, it's good to set goals. Yeah, it really is. Oh, good, Shonda, I'm glad you did. What color paint did you use on the chicken wire? I used, uh, when I wanted something to look rusty real quick, I just used um, this Americana milk chocolate. It's just, you know, it's kind of got that cinnamon color to it. But if you've got the time, I absolutely love the rust kit from Hobby Lobby. I have rusted all kinds of things and I love it. Let's see how good that is that. Oh, thank you so much who said that Rhonda said that. That's so sweet so much class and oh thank you Kristen y'all are y'all are too good to me okay now while that it still feels a little tacky so I'm gonna go on and just see um see what what else y'all think about this we'll start making some decisions before while this dries a little bit more so I'm gonna offset the smaller um little hoop just like that, we're gonna hot glue it, but I wanna put some fabric in this one. That's why, at first I was thinking, this is my process, <laughs> I was thinking two coordinating fabrics in each hoop, which you could do. Um, but then I thought, boy, it would be really cool to have a, a different texture for the bigger one. Hey, Lori and Deborah. Hey, there's Lori from Crafting by Faith with Lori. How are y'all doing? Y'all come on in. So we're gonna have fabric in this one. We're gonna have texture behind here. And I had thought, first idea was just fabric in a hoop and I would hand letter something in the middle and then we would embellish it. So this has kind of grown over the last couple of days. Wire hoops at Dollar Tree the other day would work great, yeah. And they have some really cute ones now in the Target Dollar Spot. There's a fall one. And then one that's just, they're felt um, with the gold rings, two different sizes. <laughs> what it'll grow up to be. Carmela, I'm going to show you. Lace would be fun. Lace would be fun in the back, yes. I just wanted some kind of texture, and I don't have any lace. And I am kind of crazy about chicken wire. Now, here are our options. This is where y'all come in. We could go totally you know, fallish with this. And then I looked at it and thought, well, I don't see a lot of, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to share custody of the goat, ghosts. <laughs> I almost said goats. 
Um, then I didn't know how well that would show up. See, you don't see the hoop so much with that. I also pulled this one, and I thought, well, you know, that could work. That way the, the hoop kind of pops a little bit more. Or, let me show y'all this. I got this uh, little bundle of fat quarters at Hobby Lobby yesterday. So let's, let's open this up and we'll see, cause that'll be a real good contrast between the chicken wire that looks rusty and the wood, uh, the stained wood hoop. So we've got just your plain, you know, kind of muslin. This is kind of like ticking fabric. The sweet little gingham. That looks, how is that different? Oh, this is the difference between these two ones. They're just reversed. And then the buffalo check. So, what do y'all think? Now let me show you this. How adorable is that in that little hoop? Let me just, let's see here. So I have to, I'm visual, I have to see. So we could go that way. We could go really, really um, simple with this one, because we're gonna do something else to it. Wait, for, yeah, like that. It's hard to choose, isn't it, Deborah? I thought I would make this um, make this decision ahead of time, but this is tough. There's the gingham in it. A lot of goodies at the Dollar Tree today. I found a few. Not solid, Betty says. We are gonna put something on top of this, though, so it won't just be plain. I promise. Hey, Pat. There's Miss Pat from Unique. I'm so happy you're here. Who is that? Ticking Gingham or Buffalo Check? Shonda says. Okay. Gingham. Ticking. You know what? I think I'm going to go with Gingham simply because with the ticking, I'm going to get, I'm afraid I'm going to get the lines wonky. Getting it in this, you know? Well, I was gonna letter on it, but then it grew. So I'm gonna show you what I am gonna do. Love the gingham, like the gingham, like the buffalo check. I do like the buffalo check too. Let me, let me, okay, let me try to. I think I'm gonna do the gingham. Let's do that. Hello, Pauletta. All right, now, y'all know, if you don't follow Amanda May, you need to. Is she here? I haven't seen. It grew. Don't you get me started again, Lori. Don't you do it. <laughs> so, if you follow Amanda from Amanda Maid, she is awesome with these embroidery hoop crafts. So, if you're interested in embroidery hoop crafts, check her out for sure. If you don't already, you need to. Um, she does these with an inside out, a backwards, kind of a backwards technique. Let me loosen this. Uh, when I was doing my cross stitch, you know, you would have your fabric on the outside and this would be the inside, if that makes sense. We're gonna do that backwards. I'll show you, it leaves a lip. And you would want to actually stain it ahead of time. It's, you know, still a little tacky. Yeah, I did too, Cat. So we're gonna do this. And we're going to, let me straighten it up here. Can I straighten it up a little bit? I want my lines to kinda not make somebody crazy if in case they like you know, symmetry. It'll be fine. Did I do that backwards? I did that backwards, didn't I? No, no, this is gonna be fine. Okay, let me tighten that up. Okay, and let's cut it off. Her 
her embroidery hoop crafts blow me away. Back when I was doing a tater bug and tries, I did one um, that was similar to hers. And I still have it. I love it. It's hanging up over there. So we're going to trim this excess fabric off as close as we can to the um, hoop. Yes, you please feel free to drop her link. Um, and uh, Pat, any, any creators that are here who want to drop their link, please do. We're a community. We're not in competition at all. At least I'm not. I'm not not trying to be that. Oh no, Pat did it. Am I back? Am I here? Okay. Now I'm going to get this cut out and then we're going to go on and give away uh, one of my, or I'm going to gift someone. I kind of watch my words. Gift somebody here with one of my classes. I offer online paint classes every month and you don't have to sign up for a subscription or anything. You pick and choose the ones you want to do and um, you have access to them indefinitely. So if you would like, if you would be interested in taking one of my, trying one of my classes, put it in the comments. And I'm gonna start scrolling here in a second when I get this trimmed and call out a name and you can try one of my classes. And even if you've had a class before and there's another class that you'd like to take, um, comment. Can you see, yeah, the sunflower right over my head is the one we're doing this month. And I do a, the main painting class this one's a little more complicated this month. Um, we're doing, we're trying texture. You have the option of doing texture or not doing texture. And then before the end of the month, I always try to give you a little bonus video. It might be a craft or another painting that's along that theme. So it'll have to do with sunflowers. Okay. All right, so here's what we have. So you see we have a little lip in here, which is what I wanted. And now we're going to get to glue that in. But let me let me scroll, clean up my mess, and then we're going to scroll. Okay. All right. I'm going to go down here and get where I need to be, and I'm going to scroll, 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 scroll. Rita Shink would like to try class. Let me write your name down, Rita. All you've got to do, let me tell y'all how to do this. Rita S. GNK. Um, if you'll go to taterbuggin.myshopify.com and click art classes, scroll through and just message me with which one you want to try and I'll send you the link to get in. Thank you, Laura. Oh, that's my friend, Laura. How are you doing, girl? I'm so happy you're here. Okay, now we're going to do that two more times during this live. So, okay. Here's what we have. I'm just gonna glue this in here. So here's where we'll be. Uh, somewhere like that. And I want them, let's see, kinda like this. So we're gonna put some, a generous dollop of hot glue right here. Let's see if I can line these up pretty good. Now what I'm gonna do, or try to do, is just, mm, will that hold? Let's see if that'll hold for just a second. Okay, so here's what we have so far. I gotta look at it in there. That's pretty straight, I guess. Now, while that kind of sets, let me put, these are those little Dollar Tree clips and that's asking a lot of it. Let me try my big, my big um, clothespin. Now, I thought about 
Oh gosh, 300, my goodness, I can't even imagine. I might faint and fall out of my chair if that happens. So like I said, in the beginning I thought, well, I would use one of these bigger hoops, put the fabric in it, inside out, I mean, with the lip around it, and I would let her, you know, happy fall or, or whatever inside. Like I did on the big piece of barn wood a week or so ago. And then I thought, no, I just did that let's do something different. So while I was at Hobby Lobby yesterday, these jumped in my cart. They are the wood cutouts, grateful, thankful, and blessed. $3.99, 40% off. So I said, I'm gonna spring for those. And I decided to use grateful. Now this is the next step. We can Look how cute. Oh, I love it already. We can paint this. We can stain this. I don't know how, I think that's too much staining. Uh, we can leave it just like it is because we're going to bring in a lot of color with the embellishments. But um, I do too, Cindy. And you look in there and you're checking out going, how did that get there? <laughs> so what do y'all think so far? Um, should I... Should I paint it something like uh, Dijon to make it pop out with a fall color? Leave paint, match color with the embellishments. Love the check. I'm loving this check. I like the simplicity of it with the rusty um, chicken wire behind it. Love neutral, so love grateful natural. I'm kind of loving that too. I'm a big neutral person too. You wouldn't know it from my recent paintings that are just color. I did have fun with that. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay, so let's let's step up and we'll see what we're gonna do for the color. These also jumped in my cart, but come on, I couldn't help it. Look at these mini leaves. They're wooden leaves from Hobby Lobby. They were $4.99, 40% off but they're so cute. And so Robin made it. Come on in, Robin. Um, so let's see. We've got these for embellishment. At one point I thought, how cute would these be just glued all the way around the big hoop, you know, just here and there like fallen leaves. Napkinize it. We could do that too. Oh, hey, Thomas. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to anybody who's new. Park gone rogue. Yeah, I got a little rogue at Hobby Lobby yesterday. <laughs> so let's see. We could start, you know, if we... Oh, my goodness. That's so cute. I'm going to see if y'all can kind of see from down here. I'm looking at the screen. Um, so we could, you know, I'm just thinking, you know, it's fallen leaves and do them all different ways. But I've got other things too. Aren't these leaves so cute? Oh my goodness. By the way, Trish is here. I've got on more of uh, Trish Thomas, Love and Life by Trish Thomas. Help me out, post your link, Trish. But look at these hearts with the leather on it and this leather, I love them. Love this necklace so much. I don't think I've ever worn this one live. I have some of her earrings on too. So, there's that about that. What color have I not used? We haven't done this one. That's a pretty one. Now, this might be overkill. Y'all are going to have to tell me. That's why I've got y'all here. Oh, did you get the, your earrings from Trish yesterday, Cindy? That's great. I talked to Elizabeth Bauer earlier, and she was wearing her new necklace. So, her love and life jewelry is everywhere now, going out all over the place. So, can y'all see how this is looking? Oh, the leaves, Trish. You got to make these into uh, a hoop. Okay, business page, private messenger. Okay, Trish, did you get that? Betty just sent you a message. He did, Carmilla, and I posted them over the weekend. Um, 
all the recipes from the past two weeks are in one post so scroll back and you'll find those recipes there so can y'all see this tell me if this is gonna be too much now let me show you what else I've got we I, I just got it all out we have green raffia that we could make a bow out of we've got this new ribbon from the Dollar Tree for fall that we could put um, <laughs> who are you talking to me Lee am I rocking it I hope you're talking about me <laughs> look at these berries these were from Hobby Lobby a dollar 99 40 percent off so that's pretty doggone good I flipping love these things I don't know what you call them I call them little pods oh my goodness and these so you see we could do some of these around on the inside group hey Yvonne there's Miss Yvonne from um, Southern Designs and Finds group the leaves together oh, I like that idea so let's We could do kind of, I'm looking to see if y'all can see. I know, aren't those berries so pretty? But y'all, I also got acorns. Look at those. How do y'all say it? You say acorns or acorns? My husband says acorns. <laughs> I say acorns. But this was just full of all kinds of goodness. There's a, a pine cone in there too. And these sweet, sweet acorns. So... I know, how do I decide? That's when I said, you know what? I'm gonna make them decide, cause I can't decide. <laughs> Leave it simple with just the leaves. Look like Chinese lanterns, don't they? Yeah. With the wood leaves spread out, it looks too much like a clock. Okay, good deal. Um, yeah, Yvonne, if you, uh, I'm sure everybody knows, knows you here, but please drop your link. Any creatives that are here uh, that have a business page, please drop your link. Acorn. You say acorns, Celia? And Francis says acorns. So I guess it's just all over the place. Acorns with a ribbon on top. Do decor at bottom. Okay. Okay. I'm so confused. <laughs> but the floral around the big hoop and the little wooden leaves around on the small hoop. Ooh. Oh, sweet. See, I knew I needed y'all's help with this. Cause I, if I get too many options, it can, I kind of blow a gasket. Oh, I love it at the top of this little one and we could, Disguise right over here where I uh, glued that on. Right here, maybe. Oh, this is the fun part to me. Can y'all see that? I'm trying to see if y'all can see what I did here. Leaves fall. Small hoop. Yes. Leaves look better on the small hoop because they're too lost on the big one. Yes. Okay. Good deal. So let's, um, I like the, we're going to leave the grape, if we're going to leave the grateful the way it is, we'll let the leaves be the color here. So I'm going to use the brighter ones, but I am going to swap out. Oh, that's so cute. Are we good with that? And then I'll get these on and we'll tackle the big hoop. How about that? Okay. Acorns is the pronunciation. Okay, so that's what Mr. Google says. concentrate here y'all okay let me hold that that sounds good Laurie yeah okay our grateful is down 
I do too. I love the way these leaves look on this little hoop. And it's really making me absolutely love the um, the rusty chicken wire. I don't know why I'm so crazy about chicken wire, but I just love it. Oh, thank you, Pat, for the stars. You're so sweet. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. He he uh, marches to the beat of his own drum, doesn't he? Is that the saying? <laughs> Isn't that what it is? <laughs> Yeah, he and I grew up in the exact same area, so, you know, it's funny that we say him so differently, but he also says Warsh, and I don't. <laughs> He's a country boy. This will make me happy. It's covering up that little glued area. In there yeah it's not fun to dust is it penny I'm not crazy about dusting much anything really <laughs> a small checked bow on top Sandra that's a good idea I'll I'll whip up a bow and we'll we'll hold it up there and see what we think oh I really I'm so glad I got these little leaves these are so fun. And now I think I'm gonna take them to Trisha's house and see if she'll magically turn them into earrings for me. <laughs> Do you, Betty, you say that? Wash. Wash. Oh, that's so sweet. Ah, I love it. Y'all are brilliant. Linda says wash too. Oh my goodness, this is cuter than I could have envisioned it. I'm so excited. All right, so now let me get this um, ribbon open and let's make a, a some kind of little bow. Just a simple little bow. Is that what y'all think? I'm glad y'all like it too. Oh, thank you for sprinkling, Teresa. It's time. Well, let's do. Let's uh, give. Let's give somebody a um, another class. So I'm gonna start scrolling. Cat mm -hmm. Ward, would you like to try one of my um, classes? I don't think you you've had. I don't think I've picked your name for a giveaway before, have I? Um, Cat Ward, let me know if you would like to try one of my classes. And let me scroll back down. There's Elizabeth. I was talking about you earlier, Elizabeth. Thank you for the stars. You're so sweet. Now you get to go get the leaves. I'm sorry, y'all. I said I was going to do this from your stash, and there I went and had things jump in my cart at Hobby Lobby. But I couldn't help it. Those little leaves just got me. Kind of like the little chicks did. Those little bitty birds at Easter. Oh, my goodness, they were so cute. And I have a lot of those left over. I was telling them, uh, you know, I was showing my necklace and telling them that uh, you were wearing one of Trisha's necklaces today, too. She's on here. Okay, let's see. We're getting there with a little bow. Just Do we want just like a simple little bow like that and some acorns? And did, did Kat answer? Let me see if she said. Oh, good, Mary. Then you're all set. Uh, you've got plenty of. Um, oh, good. Cat does want one. And you may have heard what I said earlier. Um, just go to taterbuggin.myshopify.com and check out the classes that I have. And uh, private message me and let me know which one you'd like to try. And I'll send you the link. Which way am I going? Here we go. Do it right, Lindy. Oh, 
Oh, I'm loving these leaves too. I got the leaves, Stella, at Hobby Lobby. They're in um, a little package like this. All of their fall stuff is 40% off, and these were $4.99. I sprung for them. All right, now y'all tell me what you think about the little bow at the top. Is that enough? Does it seem too little? Does it blend in too much? I love this ribbon, yeah. They had just put it out at one of my Dollar Trees yesterday. And this was my favorite one. This was the only one I actually bought. So, there's a the little ribbon. Hey, Deb. Okay, so I'm gonna, I see a lot of hearts. Well, Trish says more. So now, let's see. We could do some little berries going out at the side and then add acorns coming, acorns, acorns coming down here in the middle. What do you think? Yeah, did you get, you got a couple of rolls? Let me just snip off uh, one of these little things of uh, berries and let's see how it looks. Again, I have to see it. I could even put some of that green uh, raffia behind the bow. Welcome, Beth. I'm so happy you're here. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. I hope you'll enjoy what we do here. So let's see. Yeah, okay. Now look, we're growing here. It's, it's. Let me fix that. So if we had little, the little berries coming off both sides, maybe a little. I do have natural. Let's try that. That means I have to get up, Betty. Count. I'm getting up. I gotta get my raffia. I'm just gonna get one, one big thing of it and double it over. Like this. And we can always cut the loops. Add the green, green raffia, natural berries, both sides. Yes, definitely we'll make it symmetrical on both sides. I'm just gonna see if I put some raffia behind it. That's not bad. Let's see what green looks like. And Stella's new here from Arkansas. Oh, thank you, Stella. I'm so glad you're here. I love Arkansas. I really do. We just went, Trish and I went to Arkansas in June. It was wonderful. I wanna go back. What part of Arkansas are you in, Stella? How about cotton? Well, now, Laurie, you done gone to meddling. Now I'm gonna have to dig out cotton. I don't, um, I don't know. Cotton would be good. I think I'm gonna stick with some of the, these, these fall colors. Maybe I'm just a little over cotton here. I don't know. We're got a lot of cotton here. Where did you get the white containers behind you? Um, I got those at Michael's, and there's actually a link for those uh, paint caddies. Um, if you go to the top of my tater bugging page, you'll see all my links there, and you'll find the link to those because that's my most asked question is where I got my paint caddies. All right, so, but yeah, you can get them at Michael's. I've got, I think I'm up to six of them now. Okay, there's green. Let me move that off my screen. So we got green. It almost seems to get lost. Hey, Lori. Thank you, Cindy, for dropping that link. Oh, welcome, Helen. I'm so glad you did. I appreciate y'all so much. Um, you know, Lee, Lee came over, we crafted together, had so much fun, and now I, I, I get this bonus of these brand new sweet folks coming over to follow us, and I truly, truly appreciate it. From the We both do, from the bottom of my heart, me and Mr. Taterbuggin. Do both colors, Lee says, do both colors. Now look, girl, you're gonna give me raffia rage, aren't you? I know you've got raffia rage. You just wanna see if I can handle it, don't you? We're gonna try. If I could handle what you and I went through Sunday, come on now, <laughs> we can do it. 
So I thought I would just kind of, you know, once we figure it out, kind of snip these loops and mess it up. Oh, thank you, Lee. Do both, Ruffies. I do like that. Let's put that at the top. And, can, you know, you want to kind of messy it up. I'll give it a little trim. Okay. All right, Lindy. Let's do this. Let's... I got some wire out in case I needed it to attach things. So, I'm going to take just a little bit of floral wire and get this under control here in the middle. Both is a great idea, yeah. I like that. This is just that thin little floral wire. Oh, is it somebody new? Emily, welcome Emily. I'm glad you're here. Now let me do a little bit of snip snip in here. And get messy. I'm loving this more than I thought I would. This may end up staying in my house. May not go to the booth. <laughs> or I may end up having to make some more, I don't know. Cause uh, my sweet tater bug gave me a whole stack of these um, eight inch hoops. So I am set. So we could put that right at the top. Let me see y'all. That's right at the top. Here's our little bow on top of that. And we're gonna have, wait, we gotta have our berries. I think I should probably go on and glue the berries down. Oh, I'm thinking this is so pretty. Um, let's do one more of these. Yes, welcome, welcome. Jennifer, I have a booth at a store called Southern Vintage Company here in Bartlett. I've been there for several years. Um, you can follow them here on Facebook if you don't already. And I'll be teaching my first in-person class very soon. It'll be next month. Bo's got his toy out. All right, let me go on and put these down. It's late in the UK. Wait, let me see who that is. Hey, Anna, watching from the UK. What time is it there? I always love to ask. I've had um, some folks come on from um, uh, Australia. You know, it's the next day or the next morning or something. It's so cool. Thank you for that, Lee. You're so sweet. Sharon, I have three dogs and one cat. They're all rescues. It's a zoo around here. Oh, who said that? Let me see. Uh, Dana, you're so sweet. I adore you. Oh, yeah, Lee is, Lee blows me away with her talent. That girl, and y'all, she's the real deal. I promise you, she's just like, she, you see her on the lives. We, and when we go shopping, we get that silly and have the best time, so... Yeah, Teresa, yeah, I was just talking about that. We have uh, three dogs and a cat. It just worked out that way. They were rescues. Um, we always thought we'd keep ourselves to two dogs and one cat. The cat is actually my son's, but I've got custody of him. <laughs> he lives here, but I love that stinking cat so much. Um... But then, Mr. Taterbuggin had always wanted a German Shepherd. He knew his name was going to be Sarge. And there he went. <laughs> like on cue, he came through the doggy door. Um, and a year ago, December, a family down in Mississippi moved and left him on the street. They had had him for a year. Um, the neighbor was in Gerald's Jeep Club. And she put out a call to all the, the Jeep Club members and said, you know, what had happened. She had seen this dog grow up from a puppy at her neighbor's and they moved and they left that dog on the street. He stopped everything, drove 45 minutes at night down there to get his dog. He is an awesome dog. So, 
Oh, Tammy, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad y'all enjoy his cooking, too. Yeah, Lee's Scarecrow last night was adorable. Oh, my goodness. And if you put fairy lights in anything, I'm down. I am down for it. Oh, I love me some fairy lights. All right, now it's about time to hold this up. Celia, there's a special place for people who can do that. You know it, I just, that's why we always rescue. I can't, I can't, oh, it just breaks my heart. They, they're so loving and they'll do anything for you and why pe that's why people could be mean to an animal. I don't well, speak of the devil and he shall appear. I was telling him how you got Sarge. How I got Sarge? Yeah, and what had happened. Yeah. Look. He's a good dog. Look how it's, he's a very good dog. And he's very spoiled here, like they all should be. They all are spoiled. Very pretty. Um, okay, y'all, so we need some, um, we need some, would you look at our numbers? Wow, how nice. <laughs> They have really showed out for me today, I'm telling you. I'm trying to just get a few of these webs off, y'all. That that was... Who else here? Hey, Trish, Betty, Carmela, Judy. Yeah, I don't hey, know. Hey, everybody. So, acorns, do we... I told them, you say acorns, I say acorns. Acorns. It's a mixed bag, but you say acorns. That's right, Teresa. We have gotten four amazing grateful sweet sweet animals that way tell them when he cooks he usually cooks on friday night at oh. six o'clock and um i have there's amanda we were talking about you earlier amanda how are hey, you amanda. feeling yeah she's dealing with her allergies today too oh, yeah. yes oh. spoiled is the oh thank you deborah for the stars y'all are so sweet um, you want to tell them what you're cooking this week? They were asking. He had already, he's already decided. We had decided? I thought you did, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's asking me. <laughs> I want to make sure that we're on the same page. <laughs> <laughs> we are cooking uh, Grandma's meatloaf. His, Grandma Tate's meatloaf. She, God bless her. She, she lived to be 100 years old and taught Lindy how to make this meatloaf and, and I grew up on meatloaf and I don't like meatloaf but I love Grandma Tate's meatloaf that's the first meatloaf I loved so because I hey, told Tiffany I'm just okay um let me just let me try something before y'all leave me before y'all leave me I'm trying I'm showing them something I'm showing them all right I'm good I'm getting out of here y'all uh look for us Friday night and we'll cook some good meatloaf like you've never had before. Bye-bye. I know, I would, I, this, yeah, I love, I love this meatloaf. I didn't love, sadly, God bless her. I loved my paternal grandmother with all my heart. I grew up, I, we shared a bedroom until I was 11. We lived with her. And, uh, but I didn't like her meatloaf. She was a good cook, but didn't like her meatloaf. Sorry, Memo, I'm very sorry. So, acorn or no acorn? Yes, acorn. Anna, you've never had meatloaf. Okay. Well, wait till you see. And it's it's easy. He's going to do a side dish with it. That I don't know that he's decided on yet. Me, Robin, I know until I tried it, uh, uh, Grandma Tate's. I'm just going to cut this excess stem off. And um, Amanda, I told them... If they want to see some really beautiful um, embroidery hoop crafts, they need to head on over to your page if they don't follow you already. Drop your link for me, would you, if you're still here and listening. Um, drop your link. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm going to do right there. And that, we're, we did it in an hour, and I'm calling it finished because I really like it, and that's thanks to y'all. All I did was provide some ingredients. I love it. Look at that. Oh, thanks for um, the the helping me with the leaves on the little part. You helped me with the whole thing, picking out the fabric. Um, and really, 
you could do this uh, this with stuff you probably already have in your stash where all the spider webs the glue webs so I'll probably um, add a little jute hanger on it and that'll be it I like it I like the way it turns out thank y'all for hanging with me I cannot believe we far exceeded my 200 goal but I'm not going yet I've got a I've got one more class I want to gift somebody okay so we've got one more thing to do so we've got Rita Shink and Cat Ward are trying out one of my classes and we're gonna do one more okay let me scroll let me get down here yes thank y'all so much okay I'm gonna scroll 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 hang with me okay Mary is it tea garden to garden let me write that down would you like to try to um, one of my paint classes let me know and if you do there's thank you Cindy boom 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 I'm telling you she is on her toes she's got the links today um, Jennifer how you sign up for a class you can go to that link that Cindy just dropped, or you can go to our online store, which is taterbuggin.myshopify.com. All these links are pinned to the top of our Facebook page. Um, the art classes are under the art classes section. We've got woodblock prints. We've got unfinished wood kits. A lot of things in there. Oh, she, thank you. Okay, uh, Mary, then just pick out which class you'd like to do. Y'all private message me. And let me know which class and I'll send you the link and you can get started um, so let's see we're gonna cover our tater bug and sweet tater bugs group Lee posted the templates from Sunday our live Sunday and uh, turquoise Valentine's crafters reveal group and my group is tater bug and sweet tater bugs you'll find it in the file section of either one of those groups to get into the tater bug and sweet tater bugs group it's free it's for y'all to show off your crafts show off your grandbabies post prayer requests it's just a group for my followers um, a community so there are two questions to answer um, you need to be a follower of the tater bugging page and just agree to be kind is what the, the rules are and I know we have no trouble with that there we've never had any drama there we, we don't do drama here so um, that's the two things where did you get your chicken wire at Lowe's I believe he picked that up at Lowe's it was Lowe's or Home Depot one or the other you can get them there um, am I forgetting anything else ladies there's the link to the group oh Carolyn did you we had we had the best time we just had so much fun with y'all laughing and cutting up um, so let's see we've got we've talked about our group our online shop i'm trying to think of the things that um, y'all usually ask about where did you get your top <laughs> you know i ordered this um off of amazon i had some good luck uh, I, i've never had a lot of luck of online shopping but when we had to i went to amazon and that's where i found it and it's really comfortable so did you so tell me, did you listen Yes, I did. I guess I got everything. Thank y'all again for hanging with me and for helping me create this little fall decor piece. Yes, we'll, Thursday at 4. Thursday at 4. Yes, I'll be back Thursday at 4. Um, and if we do what I'm planning, you might want to bring, might want to look in the yard or around for some one or two of these. We have pine trees out back, so we've got all kinds. But, um, yeah, grab you maybe a pine cone. We might be using those. On Thursday and it'll be another one where we just raid our stash our house it's probably stuff you've already got might need a little Dollar Tree something or other but I'll I'll fill you in Did you tell them they missed a Kung Pao chicken last night. I told him you made Kung Pao chicken yep. last night yeah I just took the um, when I want some instant rust look I use this Americana milk chocolate because it's kind of got that cinnamon look <laughs> And this was shiny new um, chicken wire, and I didn't want that on a fall piece. I wanted it to look rusty, so that's what we've got there. 
I can't, I swear I can't get over uh, how cute this turned out with the little leaves and everything. So, yeah. Okay, y'all. I'm going to go enjoy your the rest of your Thursday or sleep well if it's way late at night in the UK. Uh, and I will see you on Thursday. So, y'all have a good day. I love you. Thank you for being here. And welcome to everybody new. Bye.